It's just me and this, the executive VP of Walmart. And he gets on there. Now remember, the, the CMO said sales are fatiguing, which was a lie. This guy, I talked to him and I said, this will be your biggest product buy through in the history of Walmart, just like my other three price points were. I said, we're gonna give you a my pillow at 1988. That's what you can retail it for in your store. And um, so he goes, I, he all of a sudden he goes, well, no, we're not. We're gonna. We're not ever having my pillow again. He said, uh, uh, "You don't make the rating of four of a four. And I go, "What rating system?" And he goes, "I go, what are you talking about?" He goes, "Well, two and a half years ago, we put in a rating system." And I go, "What?" I said, "I'm high rated. I look it up. We're made it a five, a four, three point eight. These are just customer ratings." I said, "You do realize bots and trolls attack all the time?" And he goes. He goes, no, he says, well, we're canceling my pillow. And he had this smirk on his face. I said, goodbye, you're gonna be all over the news tomorrow. And I slammed the computer. And he goes, and he goes, and then he says, he says, and then he goes, he goes. So there's Mike Lindell complaining about how Walmart decided to stop selling his, uh, I'm not gonna say that, his pillows uh, anymore, uh, especially specifically in their stores. And apparently it's against the law, according to Mike Lindell. Uh, so let's go to details of uh, what this is, whole thing is about. He told Steve Bannon that he is informed that sales had slumped and then MyPillow also failed to hit a key approval metric among shoppers, as he pointed out there. Walmart confirmed after Lindell's spot with Bannon that you saw, MyPillow will no longer be carried in the store. The company did offer Lindell a silver lining though, customers can order online. While we are no longer carrying them in stores, MyPillow products continue to be available on walmart.com. It's what a company spokesperson told The Hill. He also told Bannon that the company was spending a half a million dollars a week on television advertising, adding that he offered to pay, uh, offered to lower the price of MyPillow products for Walmart. You guys are canceling us, just like the other box stores, is what he said uh, to Walmart to a Walmart executive. Shame on you, Walmart. You're disgusting. He's talking about those other um, uh, stores because Bed Bath and Beyond, Wayfair, and Kohl's all quit selling My Pillow products in January of last year, and that was right after the Capitol riot. Uh, apparently, that's against the law too. Yeah, that's not cancel culture. That's called capitalism. Look into it, Mike. Uh, but look at this sense of entitlement. You know how hard it is to sell into Walmart. I have friends who worked in, in, in that line of work. There's a million things you can sell in the Walmart. I had friends who did like hard drives, women's purses, etc. All these different experiences. And it is super hard to get shelf space at Walmart. And you have to have really high ratings by customers, etc. All the things that he's alluding to. But Mike Lindell thinks, what do you mean? I'm entitled to it. That's not how capitalism works. If the cus if sales slumped, which they did, you're not making money for Walmart. Out you go. They don't give a damn about your politics. If it sells, it sells. If it doesn't sell, it doesn't sell. I thought you guys like capitalism. Now all of a sudden they're like, I don't like capitalism. It's mean to me. It canceled my fellows. Nobody's buying them anymore. Well, Mike, that's called sad day for you. Okay, what do you want? Oh, the government should make them sell my pillows. You sure you're for capitalism? <laughs> okay. Now he didn't say the government part, but look, if we like, see, I'm a grown up, unlike Mike Lindell. So uh, we do two strong coffee, okay? It's one of the many mugs we have, two strong coffee.com slash DYT. Now we know that it's not going to go into Walmart and a lot of other stores. Why? Uh, because we give money to progressive causes. So when you buy from Two Strong Coffee, we give to Just Democrats and Rebellion Pack, Wolf Pack, etc. Okay, and a lot of people don't like that. The right wing doesn't like that. The right wing's like, oh, I don't want Two Strong Coffee. Okay, and they'll do bots or trolls or whatever. Okay, so then we don't sell it at Walmart. We don't cry about it. Okay, we sell it to you at TwoStrongCoffee.com/dyt. See, that's how it works, Mike. They're children, but the entitlement, Jackson. The entitlement is unbelievable. I have a right to sell at Walmart. I have a right to money. I have a right to that you have to buy my pillow. No, Mike, we don't have to buy your pillow. Newsflash. Well, and it first starts at people buying your pillow because if they were, then they would still be in Walmart. But the craziest thing about it is, it's like. This guy has absolutely no awareness to see that he did this to himself. And it was so avoidable. Like, because he he could have even supported that the idea that Donald Trump won the 2020 election. But had he not gone as far as he did for as long as he did, then he wouldn't even be in this situation to the point where he can't even see that it's like, dude, you're embarrassing and nobody wants to be associated with you. 
It, so, you know, it, the, the entitlement runs deep. Not only is he bad at or doesn't understand capitalism, but apparently that half million dollars a week on ads, where are these? I don't know, maybe they're airing in Oklahoma. I, I don't know who's seeing these ads or how you're spending that much on it every week while you're getting sued by Dominion voting systems and then while you've been kicked off of that platform and that pr platform. Also, he hasn't learned yet. He got his products and commercials booted off of Fox News. One of the OANs or Newsmaxes, I think, was maybe the last ones holding on. And then they're trying to give him promo codes constantly to help him, help him out. But you haven't seen it yet. He can, you can complain and yell about it, but yell about it for the public nature. But then go back into your office and be like, okay, so how do we make sure we stop bleeding money? Because this is bad. Like, you can have your public persona, but for some reason it doesn't translate to him realizing that, hey, maybe I should change my, uh, the, the, my approach here when it comes to selling things. If I want more people to buy it, I have to not be so turned off or they can't be so turned off by my face or my voice or the things that I say, maybe my face shouldn't be on it anymore. That would be the best marketing tool for him right now. Maybe some people may go back to buying his pillows, I don't know. Yeah, or figure out a different way, be a businessman. Figure out how to get it to right. conservatives who like it uh, without having to go through the stores. I, It's called business, look into it, Mike. Okay, so what, one more thing, I know it's not political, why? Walmart still has it on their website. So no, they're moving them off the shelf space in the retail stores because it's not selling enough. They have a formula for how much it sells. If it was political, they wouldn't have them on the website. They would say, "Oh no, that's a toxic brand. We don't want that," and they would pull it off of everything. So by definition, it's not a political decision. It's just a financial decision, and he's still crying about it. You don't have a right to profits. <laughs> I can't believe that right wingers don't understand that. He's just too deep in the game. He's so deep in the game that he's not even thinking about the money. Like he, he, he's complaining about it getting taken off the shelves, but that's more symbolic than it is about the dollar bill. Because if it was, he would have stopped this mess long ago. So he's, this is gonna end very badly for him. Very when though, I, I've been trying to figure out when he's gonna run out of money. Well, look, uh, so first of all, we did a story about uh, proving Jackson right. Um, TYT investigates uh, did a story about how the National Prayer Breakfast, which uh, pretends to be nonpartisan, actually hoodwinked Mike Lindell. You didn't used to be this religious. They're like, oh, come and pray with us and stuff. And then they convinced him that the country needed him, that, this, that, mm. that the Lord had found him. They're like, oh, he's the Lord is looking for someone who's in the pillow business. He's like, holy cow, I'm in the pillow business. <laughs> like he said, really, he's not that, I'm telling you, not very right, okay? <laughs> and they're like, oh my God, and they need someone with a, with a, mo what is it? A mustache. He's like, oh my God, I have a mustache. I have a mustache, it must be me. And they're like, oh well, that's why you have to give to like a lot of right wing causes and spend all your money there and don't worry about your pillow business anymore. He's like, okay, the Lord called on me. So read the TYT investigative stories, it's hilarious. Oh. But the good news for Mike Lindell though is that as he's falling off this financial cliff, he has plenty of pillows to fall on now. <laughs> he can't yeah, move them to Walmart. Silver lining. Yep. Silver lining. <laughs> <laughs> I like that he's having a pillow fight with Walmart. <laughs> because Walmart's super conservative, by the way. I mean, yeah. not a little conservative, really conservative, right? And that's why I think he's more upset. He's like, I thought we were friends. I thought we were gonna, you were gonna guarantee me money no matter what. The same I don't thing, get it, I have a mustache. The same about Fox <laughs> News. This is supposed to be a conservative network. How come they're not pushing the conservative line? They are, calm down. Yeah, they All are, right, Mark. <clears throat> Yeah, they're just not doing the Dominion and Smartmatic lies anymore because it might cost them billions. Yeah, it's I, Jackson's <laughs> totally right. Like Walmart and Fox News know exactly where the money is, right? Poor schmuck Mike Lindell has no idea. He's like, what? Is this is about money? What the hell? No, why did nobody tell me about this? <laughs> Are, and it was is this capitalist system we have to compete and take it out by other pillows? What the hell? I thought the Lord had picked me. <laughs> <laughs> Cut this mustache. <laughs> By the way, if the Lord had picked you, that is a curious choice. <laughs> I mean, a very I mean, curious choice. Like, he's like, the Antichrist. Yeah, God's looking down. He's like, who should I go with as my messenger? Oh. How about one of the least stable guys I've ever seen in my life? <laughs> that totally mon mentally unstable dude with the mustache. And he's like, I knew it, it's the mustache. 
God works in mysterious ways, man. There That's all go. it is. <laughs> there you go. Thanks for watching The Young Turks. Really appreciate it. Another way to show support is through YouTube memberships. You'll get to interact with us more. There's live chat emojis, badges. You've got emojis of me, Anna, John, JR. So those are super fun. But you also get playback of our exclusive member only shows and specials right after they air. So all that, all you gotta do is click that join button right underneath the video. Thank you.